Libra. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your October 2017 monthly general reading. I am going to be using the Ghost Tarot. It was actually gifted to me. Somebody sent me two decks for reaching 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Truly, whoever did that, thank you so much. And Libra, most of all, happy, happy birthday to those of you that are celebrating birthdays. And um, just so you guys know, you guys will be up first for absolutely everything. Because it's your birthday month. That's how I roll when it's your birthday. You're up first for everything. Okay, so focusing on Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. For the month of October 2017. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Your cards feel good. the pile. So for those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for um, joining me, for taking time to view the video. I will be doing the Celtic Cross spread. Um, I always do that for the monthlies. Those of you that would like to get a private reading with me, would like to connect on Facebook, Instagram. I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card every day to Instagram. The links to everything literally right under the videos. My Facebook page, I do have some big plans for that. So those of you that could follow me there, that would be awesome. Wow, what a spread you guys got. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, the overall energy is the Emperor. This is an authority figure, a boss, someone who is in control, um, sign of Aries. Many of you are feeling empowered this month. You know, this is you taking control or being in control of a particular situation. You know, the emperor is also abundance, success. And we're starting out with the world. Some of you could be traveling, but for the majority of you, this is you ending a very long chapter or cycle within your life. You've successfully come full circle. You've completed a chapter within your life. Many of you are ready to start down a new path, a new chapter within your life. Crossing you is the, is the magician. You know, you being in control, having absolutely everything that you need to be successful with creating this new beginning. This is you manifesting a new beginning for yourself. And combined with the world, you know, for some of you, this could be, you know, moving to a new home. You know, for some of you, you could, you know, actually, you know, be literally moving to a new country, to another country. A very beautiful energy around you guys. Really beautiful. In your foundation, you have the Empress. So you were very, very creative um, in the past. This is that very fertile energy. And with the energy of, of the world, the magician here, you really have so much creativity here. I feel like this is you planning. You've planned. You've put in a lot of effort into something. You know, this was you being very creative, coming up with maybe... A goal, for, a goal, or or some sort of new beginning for yourself. You know, with the Empress, fruit. This is fruitful energy. You know, so this is going to be very rewarding for you. You know, this is success, abundance, and I feel like. I feel like honestly, you absolutely have the world. For many of you. 
You have the world in your hands. And you're manifesting incredible opportunities here. Really beautiful. In the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. So this could have been some exciting good news or communication that came through. Something that's going to make you emotionally feel really happy. For others of you, this could be a new beginning. It could be communication coming in re regarding a new beginning. I do feel like for some of you, you know, you're, you're trusting your intuition in regards to the direction that you're going in. Because crowning you, I have the Knight of Swords. This is what you're thinking about. You just want to charge forward. You want to move forward quickly. This is that fast paced, you know, quick moving energy. And you just want to move quickly toward this new beginning. Moving into the second half of the month, we have the Queen of Swords. So maybe some of you are dealing with an air sign person, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Around the second half of the month, this could be someone that maybe, you know, that you're meeting. It could be a friend. No gender, guys. Private readings, that matters for me, but not in the generals, okay? You know, for others of you, this will be your energy. You know, again, planning. Planning for your future. This is that very logical very intelligent woman, puts a lot of thought into something before taking any action. So some of you, this could be you planning for the future, thinking things through. Others of you could be, you know, taking that sword and cutting people out of your life that aren't serving you anymore. Maybe you are putting a, a lot of thought into something. There could be something that you really want. You're very focused on it. You know, you're very, very determined. I feel strongly that for many of you, very, very focused and determined on moving toward this new beginning that you're manifesting with the magician here. You see yourself as the Ten of Cups. This is abundance, emotional happiness. You feeling very content, happy with the way things are going in your life. This is your happiness, your family's happiness. Emotionally, very happy. Now, in your environment and how people are seeing you, we have justice. People could be seeing you as making a decision or receiving a decision. This could represent contracts, anything legal. You could be hearing maybe signing some some kind of con of some kind of contract this could also represent that karmic justice you know you've gone through difficulties a difficult time in the past and 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 now it appears finally libra honestly luck is really on your side people could be viewing you as finally Seeing these karmic scales um, is that how I want to say that? People are viewing you as finally seeing these karmic scales equaling out for you. You know, you're finally reaping those karmic rewards that you've worked that you've worked hard for. And that you deserve. Justice, justice could be that karmic justice. It's beautiful. Your hopes and fears, we have the Hierophant. 
This is you hoping for marriage, hoping for a decision. This could represent, again, something legal. The government, large companies, institutions, even having faith with something. This is, you know, tr tradition, conforming as well. Those of you that are single could be hoping for marriage. You know, this could even mean committed relationships. It does not always have to be marriage. You could be hoping for that more committed relationship. And for a lot of you, I see you, I see you receiving it, You're ending the month with the fool. This is a new beginning, one that requires a leap of faith for you to just go for it. Some of you could be receiving a new job. Absolutely. Or an opportunity with the fool, the hierophant sitting right next, right, right here next to it, under it. It could be with a large company or maybe even the government. So those of you that have been looking for a job, second half of the month, the energy of the queen of swords. Absolutely could be you very focused and determined on finding that, that new job, starting with the new company. I honestly feel for for all of for the majority of you, for a lot of you this month, you literally have the entire world in your hands. And it's absolutely amazing. It really is is amazing. One, two, three. Four, five, you have six major arcana, seven, sorry, out of 11. I'm going to get a clarifying card on this Queen of Swords for you guys using the Everyday Witch Tarot. P perfect cards for, for October, right? Tis the season. I can't believe we're here, but tis the season. Okay, Spirit clarifying the Queen of Swords. Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Let's see what this card is going to be first. The Ace of Wands. Look at that. Again, it's exciting. It's passionate. It's creative. It's new beginnings. You guys really, this is going to be an amazing, powerful month for you guys. For real. Let me get you, I'm going to get you a guidance card, and I'm also going to be pulling you a, um, a romance angel card as well by Doreen Virtue. These are um, daily guidance from your angel oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. For Libra. Let your past go. The burden of your the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set the burdens down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't you don't want it or need it and it's now gone. Literally, some of you are absolutely just letting the past go. You're, you're, so for some of you, your thoughts, your feelings are about the past. That, you know, for some of you, it's got to be true. So for some of you, it could be holding you back. Some of you definitely could be repeating, you know, patterns because of unfinished emotions from your past. But you're definitely, you know, it is a sign that, you know, forgive and move on. You know, just forgiveness is for you. 
And a lot of you are just doing that. You're you're feeling excited, passionate. You're moving forward and you're not looking back. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Beautiful. Got, got passion here too. Even in your love lives. Libra, happy birthday. Beautiful reading, really. You guys got a lot, a lot of powerful energy here. I love it. All right, guys. I hope the message helps you guys out for the month. If not, look your moon, your rising signs. But keep in mind, you guys are the first ones up. <laughs> um, but really an amazing month. Amazing month. Leave your comments. Let me know how it all turns out for you guys. I love reading your comments. Even though I don't get the opportunity to answer all of you, I do read them all. All right, guys. Have a fabulous month. I'll see you here very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.